Welcome to another episode of Casual Citizen, an ongoing series about the upcoming first-person MMO Star Citizen by Cloud Imperium Games. I'm your host, Alyssiana, from the Mystic Worlds Gaming Blog. This week's episode will be a brief overview of the Reliant series by Misk. Like the Drake Herald featured in Casual Citizen Episode 17, I have a personal interest in the series as an owner of a Reliant core. Oftentimes in MMO settings, solo gameplay can be a make-your-own-fun affair that lacks depth. I'm heartened and excited by the small specialized ships Star Citizen is including alongside vessels intended for group play. To me, it says that the single-player Star Citizen experience is equally as important as the many, giving its claim as a first-person MMO a welcome duality. Sit back and enjoy this episode. Begin transmission. As this is the third missed ship covered recently on Casual Citizen, partly because I own several of them in my personal fleet, and because CIG is starting to pump these babies out, the Miss bio in this episode will be short. Please check out episode 12 featuring the Starfarer for a more detailed discussion of Misk. Musashi Industrial and Starlight Concern, commonly called MISC, was formed in 2805. It was a merger between the failing Hato Electronics Corporation and the Musashi Lifestyle Design Unit. The merger capitalized on Hato's network of large-scale production facilities and Musashi's design genius. MISC is based on Sensai in Centauri and maintains its corporate offices there. As a manufacturer, they're known for the ergonomics of their factories where spacecraft are robotically assembled with precision. Centauri was one of the first systems settled during humanity's expansion among the stars. It was discovered in 2365 by a dedicated survey ship. Centauri III was quickly offered up at a premium to private concerns. The result was Seisai, one of the most beautiful and well-constructed human worlds in the UEE. The majority of MISC's business comes from the production of their heavy industrial unit. MISC HI is responsible for a range of configurable bulk transport spacecraft that have become the de facto standard in the UEE space. One of MISC's other claims to fame is their technology partnership with the Xi'an. This came about due to the popularity of MISC ships within their culture. This led to MISC becoming the only human spacecraft corporation to sign a Lend-Lease agreement with the Xi'an. The details of that agreement are a closely guarded secret. However, in the design and construction of the Reliant, we are seeing the advantages of that agreement. The MISC Reliant Series Directly from CIG It's time. Your whole life You've had your feet planted on the ground, but felt the pull of the stars. You've come close to buying ships in the past, but didn't, because you never found a ship that inspires the same awe and wonder that you feel every time you look at the night sky. That's about to change. Introducing the Misk Reliant, proudly continuing Misk's legacy of award-winning reliability and engineering ingenuity. MISC's new Reliant is a versatile and durable multi-cruise ship that is priced to own and guaranteed to last. Speak to an authorized MISC dealer today for options and take that first step off your world. End quote. The Reliant series of ships are categorized as starter vessels. They are imbued with MISC's flair for designing stylish industrial ships, and they make use of Xi'an technology. What makes the Reliant series appealing is that they are affordable ships with specialized functionality, features beyond the pew-pew of combat, and they also feature a unique design that supports vertical and horizontal flight modes. I own the Reliant core, specifically to zip around the galaxy doing small cargo runs, solo, or with a younger family member. If I didn't already own a Drake Herald, I might have opted for the Mako News variant instead. The Reliant Core, a mini hauler. 
The Reliant Core, considered the base ship in the series, is an introductory cargo hauling vessel. However, unlike the smaller haulers in the MISC hull series, the Reliant is also equipped with moderate offensive and defensive capabilities. And it supports two crew stations, which is rare in this price point. Compared to other introductory cargo ships, the Reliant Core at 50 USD, 30 cargo units of space, and a combination of S1 and S3 hardpoints make it a good value against its competitors. The Aurora CL, which is a mercantile ship, costs 40 USD, holds less cargo with a 23, and is moderately equipped for combat with all S2 hardpoints. The MISC Hull A transports 48 cargo units, is equipped exclusively with S1 hardpoints, but costs 60 USD. So depending on your intent and play style, the Reliant Core could be a very good fit. If your intent is similar to mine, opportunistic small cargo hauling with a friend or family member, only the Reliant fits that bill. If you're a dedicated hauler, and this will be your primary method for earning money in-game, then the single-seat Hull A is a better value because of its larger cargo hold. If you want to transport cargo and do combat missions from the start, the Aurora CL is likely a better choice. Outside of combat, I want to share my experiences with others, which makes having multiple crew stations a higher priority for me than it may be for you. Hence why I opted for the Reliant Core. Reliant Send The Researcher the Reliant Sen is a starter ship focused on exploration with advanced sensor capabilities. While it's not clear to me what calling it a mobile science platform means, as we've yet to see the science profession design document, I assume it will support components that allow the Sen to perform some of the less intensive tasks from the science career. If you're in the market for a starter exploration ship, the Reliant Sen price and hardpoint configuration pitted against the Aurora ES. Here again, for someone wanting a dedicated exploration vessel that is the primary method for initially earning money in the game, the ES is a good value. However, with 10 cargo units of space, exploration equipped, mobile science capabilities, decent combat abilities, and two crew stations, I think the Reliant Sen is the better overall value. The Reliant Mako, a news van. Are you an information hound? Do you want to capture what's happening in the verse and relay events as they unfold to citizens and civilians alike? Then a career in news and entertainment, alongside being the owner of a Reliant Mako, might be for you. The Reliant Mako utilizes a state-of-the-art image enhancement suite and turret-mounted optics to capture every moment as it happens. This allows you to deliver the clarity and accuracy needed to make headlines. It's a baby herald of sorts, letting you do recon and information relay. Owners will be able to obtain the best picture and footage from the safest distance possible and spread the word. Its scanning and broadcast capabilities won't be as powerful as the herald, being that it's a starter ship, but it will get the job done. And like the herald, it supports two crew stations. The Reliant Tana, a skirmisher. Pew pew incoming. What would a series of starter ships be without a combat option? Categorized as a lightweight fighter, it brings with it a custom high yield power plant and stronger shields due to Xi'an technology. It possesses additional weapon mounts and a wider coverage arc owed to its design. Entering the game as a static duo, Want to bring someone along who's not adept enough to fly their own combat ship? Planning to take off with one of your children? I think the Tana is an excellent choice. A bit of RP flavor from CIG. One thing people don't appreciate about the Reliant is how dead on the name is. This is a ship that can take serious punishment and keep flying. During one of CTX-3's first man reliant prototype flights, I managed to snap off half a wing in a collision. Claxton sounded, red lights flashed, my nav readouts went dead for a half a second. 
until the redundancy switched on. Fly-by-wire was pretty much a lost cause, but with some careful manual thruster taps, I managed to make it back home in one piece, minus a wing. This is a ship that will keep your butt safe. Signed, Yark Badger Malloy, MISC in-house test pilot 2. End quote. Here are other factors to consider about the Reliant series in general that were gleaned from the concept sale Q&A posts. CIG considers the Reliant a utility ship. It was designed as a starter that provides multiple player profession opportunities in a single ship series and is more persistent gameplay focused. The secondary station is used to control turrets. When flying alone, you can slave the turrets to the pilot. However, you'll lose the benefit of the ship's unique large coverage arc. This impacts combat, scanning, and news reporter related activities. Therefore, it is strongly suggested the ship be manned by two players whenever possible. The two flight mode orientations each have their own benefits. Vertical is a better profile for combat. It adds increased maneuverability and better spread of the thrusters. When locked in the vertical position, the pilot is on top. Horizontal is less agile but has a higher top speed. It should also be noted that the transition between the two orientations will take a few seconds, and it isn't something we should expect to do quickly, for example, while engaged in combat. Additionally, players can only exit their seats while in the horizontal orientation. Definitive plans about including jump drives as default configurations in the variants hasn't been determined. They will, however, all be capable of having one installed. The tractor beam mounted on the wingtip can be replaced with a size 2 weapon. This would be useful for flying ships in Arena Commander or in circumstances where combat is highly anticipated. Note that the tractor beam isn't the default component in the base variant, the Reliant Core. The planned speed for the Reliant will fall between the Aurora's 150 and the Mustang's 200. From the Q&A response, it's not clear to me if that includes the increased speed received from being in horizontal orientation. While each ship in the series will support component flexibility within the variants themselves, not all components are interchangeable. It's not a simple matter of taking a component out of the Mako and putting it in the core. The core and the Tana are kindred and can cross-change components as are the Sen with the Mako. That's a rundown of the information available for the MISC Reliant series. I hope this has been helpful to anyone considering it for a pledge. Show Notes I hope you've enjoyed this look into yet another MISC ship. As I've said, CIG is pumping these babies out now. Please check out the show notes on my blog for links to the mentioned content such as the Reliant ship packages and the Q&A sessions. If you found this episode useful and entertaining, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving the show a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and doing so helps the show's visibility, making it easier for others to find their way here. Be kind and fly safe. This is Alyssiana signing off until next time. End transmission.